Hello, this is going to be a video on how to um, assemble this mask that can be used for a flute player. This is my prototype, so I am going to make a couple of changes to the mask. It's not going to look exactly like this when I'm done, but it will be very similar to this. So there's a hole where the flute is inserted, and then this flap covers up that hole when the um, flute is not in it. It has elastic for the ears and it also includes a metal nose wire. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make this. The first step is gonna be to take your pattern piece and cut out two pieces. And um, you're going to want those, if you're going to cut it from the same fabric, then you want it to be either right sides together or wrong sides together. And then just lay this on there, pin it and cut it out. Um, I'm gonna use uh, two different fabrics. I'm gonna make the outside of the mask black and the this ruler, gray ruler print is gonna be the lining on the inside. So I'm just gonna lay the black over the top of the gray and then I'm gonna pin this on here and cut it out with so I cut this out and um, I cut out two pieces, the black piece and the lining piece. And I also cut out this piece, which is um, going to be the cover. It's gonna be this part. And two pieces of elastic, seven inches long. So I have the elastic for the ears. I have the middle nose piece um, this is the part for the flap and then two pieces, two and a half by three, which are for this little um, piece that wraps around the elastic, just this little piece right here. So that should be everything that you need. Um, using the marking pens, and I have two here because I'm going to use the white pencil on the black fabric. And then I have this friction pen that I like to use on other colors of fabric and it is black. Any type of marking pen will work. You could use just a regular graphic pencil too. And you just wanna follow the instructions on the pattern. So, so when I mark this, I just move this down just a little bit and then I just use my marking pen here to mark these lines. So I do the same thing here. So these they mark on the front, and so I'm gonna mark these, and I'll just go back and mark the other ones on the back. And this is just so that you know where to make the pleats. And I'll do the same on this side. And then the other thing that needs to be marked on the front is this, um, the hole for the flute. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut on these lines with my scissors and then fold these two flaps back so that I can mark this on the front. I cut on these lines now, and so I'm just going to fold this back here on both sides. Then I will take my marking pen here and mark, I'm just going to mark a dot here on each one of these. Make sure that this stays lined up on the corners. If you need to pin this back down, you can. So I'm going to put a dot there, a dot here, a dot here, and a dot here. And then um, even while this is here, you can um, leave this in place for this part, but I just mark from along this line And along this line and then you can just move this out of the way and draw a line between these two points so when we cut this hole we'll cut it the same way that we cut this pattern piece so we'll just cut on the lines here to make the hole um, I'm gonna do the same markings on the front of the back one which should be facing down and for that I will have to 
turn my pattern piece over so you can either transfer the markings over to the back but you also can see where the um, peaks and valleys of this are which is pretty much where the markings are so I'll use my white marking pen for that and for these pleats on the top and the bottom of the mask you also have to mark them I do that on the front you have to mark them on the bottom as well which it shows here so just one other thing that I wanted to show you I left these um these darts in here for cutting out the pattern but for the marking I'm going to cut this out on the pattern so that I can mark inside this V but you want to make sure if you cut your pattern so that the V is out that you never cut it out so that the V is missing out of the fabric so hopefully that makes sense I will cut the pattern pieces out and then I will show you how I mark that all right I cut this out of here just out of the paper part and this out of here. And now I'm just going to use my pencil to mark these. This is a dart for, this one's the nose, which will just help it fit over the top of the nose. And then this one is for the chin. Um, I finished all the markings now on the back of this black piece and I will go ahead and do the same on the back of the the this is the lining now so hopefully I won't keep saying them wrong but um so this is the the lining and I'm going to make the same on the front of the mask the piece of the fabric this is the front of the mask make all the markings on the back of that piece and then we will be ready to start making our pleats and start getting ready to sew. So I'll be back for that and just... The next, the next step is going to be that um, we're going to make the dart in the mask for the nose and the chin. And so you want to... Um, this needs to be marked on the wrong side. And so you want to fold this in half so that the edges meet up and just make sure roughly that the markings on the top are about even with the markings um, well the on both sides of the fold basically you want to make sure that they're matching up and that it comes to a point right here at the the tip of the dart and then you're just going to stitch right on this line um, back stitching on both ends and then trim off so that it's a quarter inch seam allowance just to minimize some of the bulk inside the mask and you're going to do that on the the longer dart for the nose and on the shorter dart for the chin on both pieces so i will do that and then i will show you what that so looks. here i have stitched on that white line and it's on the line on both sides and backstitched on both ends. And now I'm just gonna take my scissors and just trim this off to uh, between an eighth and a quarter of an inch seam allowance there on both the chin dart and the nose dart. Okay, just in case you need help with the pleats. So what I'm doing is, this is one pleat and I'm bringing this line to match this line. So I'm just gonna fold it over until the lines touch and then make sure that this edge lines up. And with those two markings matching right there, then I'm gonna put a pin in right here. And then I'm gonna do the same with this one. I'm gonna make this marking go over to this one and then I'm gonna put a pin in there. So this marking touches that one and then pin this pleat. Then I'll do the same thing on the bottom side. So this one's gonna go over to this one and pin it. Then this marking goes to this one right by that pin. And then I will pin 
this one. And then this looks a little messy, but if you pull this, they should line up just perfectly because they're the same markings on this side and this side. So they should lay nice and flat once you do that. And you can see that I did the same thing on this side. So just to show you one more time, I'll show you on the black piece. So I'm gonna match this marking to this one. Yeah, so here's the two, and here's the side with three. So hopefully you can see how I did that. Okay, so the next step is this piece. So we cut on the fold here, so I'm going to take the pins out and... I'm just, so this was folded in half. So on this side right here, right here, I'm just gonna stitch a quarter inch seam allowance from this end to this end so that this makes a little tube for the, for this cover so that it's double thickness of fabrics to keep um, any particulate or, um, aerosols from coming out of the mask. So I'll stitch this up and then I will show stitched you. Stitched the seam down the side and I also stitched the bottom closed. So um, now that that is done, I'm just gonna trim this corner a tiny bit to make it easier to turn. And then I'm going to turn it inside out and push the corners out. And I might use some little scissors to make sure that they're, just the point of my scissors to make sure that those corners are nice and square. And then once this is um, turned all the way out, I wanna make sure that the seam on the side is right on the side of this piece. And then I'm going to take this to my iron and press it flat. All right, so I have this piece and I have my, the front of my mask, and the back of my mask and the nose darts and the chin darts are stitched on both and trimmed. And so now I'm going to lay this piece over the top of the front of the mask and I'm gonna line up the left edge with the, with the edge of this pleat that is the farthest to the left. And it should line up with the edge of the top of the mask. So this flap is just gonna cover up the hole for the flute when the flute isn't inserted into the mask. So the difference in what I'm doing here and what I did on this one is that on this one, I stitched the bottom of this into the mask, but um, I think this is gonna work better for it to just hang down. So that's why we finished the end of this and we're only gonna stitch the top edge into the mask. So I'm just gonna use these pins I already have in here that are holding the darts and just reposition them so that they also hold this flap. And I'm gonna put one more right here. And then we are ready to layer these two pieces together, right sides together. 